planning to take your baby to the beach or the pool for the first time? Well, in this video, our friends Dave and Julie will share their best beach tips for new parents. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Amanda and welcome to Parent Pacifier. On this channel, we help new or soon to be parents with product reviews and tip videos just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon so you never miss a video. But first, question for you. What worries you most about taking your baby out to the beach for the first time? Please let us know in the comments below. Hi everybody, I'm Dave, this is my wife Julie. We have a two year old daughter Johanna, two and a half actually, uh, and we have another one on the way, so we're very excited about. Mm -hmm. So uh, we just wanted to share with you some tips uh, when you're ready to take your baby to the beach or the pool for the first time. We have some five great tips that we learned along the way that hopefully will help you out, and I also got a little bonus for you at the end. So uh, my wife will start off with uh, the first uh, couple of tips. Okay, so tip number one is to speak to your pediatrician first. Um, maybe at a routine appointment before it gets really hot out, um, before you wanna take your trip to the beach um, or to a pool, speak to your pediatrician. They might have some recommendations as far as what is a good age, how long of an extended period of time your baby can be out in the sun, um, and just kind of some additional tips as far as types of sunscreen and ages um, that your child can be to take that trip. So they're a great resource, so check with your pediatrician first. Tip number two is definitely have a plan then. How long do you wanna to go to the beach? If you're going by yourself or with someone, how are you going to carry the baby from the car to where you want to set up at the beach? If you're by yourself, you have a lot of things with you, um, it can be difficult, you can't leave the baby in the car. So you'll wanna have a plan. And a lot of strollers don't work great um, on the sand, so unless it's a short distance where the stroller might work or they have a boardwalk, it's difficult. So you have to have a way to carry the baby and your items to the beach. So go in with a plan. Tip number three, after your plan, get organized. Um, you'll want your typical diaper bag supplies that you normally pack. If you've added some extra things to the diaper bag, you've kind of accumulated accumulated some things along the way, you might want to go ahead and empty some of those things out with the extra weight. You don't want some additional items you don't need when you're at the beach. And as you know, the smallest person takes up the most stuff. So you'll want to, um, you'll have a lot of things that you'll need like an adult, a towel, all of the things if they have, they obviously might have to eat while you're there. So if it's bottles or anything like that, that might require a thermal if you have bottles that need to be chilled. So it's a lot of items. So get yourself organized um, so that you don't leave anything behind. Cause also a lot of baby items can't be purchased once you're, once you're there. It's not like you can go up to the snack stand and purchase formula or baby food. So definitely um, get your bag organized and have everything you might need. Tip number four, and this is one that we definitely uh, learned the, the hard way, is to make sure you have a swimmer diaper for your baby, but don't put it on until you get to the pool or the beach, okay? Because we put that on when we were uh, getting ready to leave the house. We had it on her on the drive there, and uh, of course, she wet herself, and the swimmer diaper did not do a good job of keeping her dry. She was all wet. Her seat was all wet, I picked her up, I got all wet. Uh, so uh, wait until you get to the beach or the pool to put on that swimmer diaper, but definitely bring it, because if you're gonna plan to go in the water, a regular diaper uh, gets really, really uh, big and heavy, and it's not gonna do the job. So uh, bring the swimmer diapers, bring multiple of them, but wait till you get to the beach or pool to put them on. And finally, tip number five is to make sure you have plenty of uh, ways to protect this, your baby's skin. Uh, that includes sunblock, and check with your pediatrician which sunblock is best. Uh, make sure you, the swimwear is uh, good for blocking the, the sun and keeping her skin safe or his skin safe. And uh, protection for the feet, a hat, they have those cute little hats that uh, my mom loves to buy for our daughter, but uh, make sure it uh, has a hat. And also it's a way of keeping your, your child cool in the hot weather and uh, have an umbrella uh, to keep your, your baby under or out of the hot sun because we, we all know uh, baby skin is very uh, delicate and sensitive to the sun, so uh, definitely make sure you're, you're safe with that. And then my bonus tip, all right, here it goes. At the beach, we uh, we have our wallet, we have our keys and phone, and uh, we go with the distracted with the child. We want to make sure that we don't lose those or have someone take them from us. So uh, my little tip is to 
bring when you have your extra diapers, put your valuables inside of an unused <laughs> diaper, of course, okay? And uh, nobody wants to go th looking through a diaper, so the, nobody's going to be uh, looking for that. So uh, that's a little tip to keep your valuables safe while you're at the beach. And uh, these are some tips that we uh, we learned along the way that we has made our uh, life a little easier. Uh, now going to the beach, and hopefully that'll help you out when you're ready to take your child to the beach for the first time. So have fun and uh, hopefully these tips will help you out. So if you're interested in watching another video just like this one, try one of these from Parent Pacifier. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Take a baby diaper and put your valuables in there when you go into the water. <laughs> Nobody goes through a baby diaper. Of course, make sure it's an unused baby diaper. But.